Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, welcome if you're new. I'm a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have a very, very overdue unboxing video for us from Boutique by the Box. So if you want to see what's inside, I have not opened this yet. Stay tuned. So I went on vacation in June and uh, this showed up at my doorstep like the day before I left. And then I did a ton of thrifting. I picked up over 200 pieces while I was traveling. I've been working through that and it's been a few weeks and I totally forgot what this even is. So I'm gonna unbox it for us here today on this channel. I do all my unboxings live. I uh, will list everything either on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari or some of it I may opt to put in my whatnot auctions. Um, so I'll list everything, sell off everything, come back 90 days later and tell you guys like, do I think this box was worth investing in based on how much money I made. So if you like videos like that, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I've got some 90 day updates coming up from boxes that are about three months old now. And um, I'm real interested to see what's in here. Oh, let me tell you. So this is the, this is the Nobody's Perfect uh, daydreamer sweatshirts from Boutique by the Box. Now, I'll post a link up here. I did order Nobody's Perfect Daydreamer t-shirts and uh, it was one of the best boxes I've ever ordered. So it, it's Daydreamer is um, uh, sort of a pricey brand. It's made in the USA and uh, these were all flawed. So like something happened in production where they got damaged somehow. They were on their way to a landfill and I actually still sold like almost everything in that box very quickly. So these are supposedly sweaters and sweatshirts. I paid $368.98 for 25 items and that comes to about $14.76 per item. So considering they are flawed, I am thinking that's a little bit risky, but just based on how my last one went, I did go ahead and pick it up. Um, I think it's great for back to school. And a lot of times with the like the band tees and the graphic tees, a little distressing don't hurt anything. In fact, it kind of adds character to the to the item. So there are two boxes here. I'm assuming that they're both from the same order. I guess we're gonna find out together. Um, so this is what it looks like opening it up. They're really nicely boxed. I do like Boutique by the Box. When I do order from them, I tend to get pretty good stuff. Um, so let's see what we've got in here. This is Pink Floyd. And again, these are the nobody's perfect. So these are likely to have small flaws, large flaws. I don't really know. Uh, I think what I'm gonna try to do is show you guys the listing uh, for each item because the last one, um, the stuff came out looking okay, and then as I started listing it, it didn't look so great. So I'll have to figure out what the flaws are with each one. This one, I don't know. It doesn't have a size tag, but it's a size small according to the like fabric tag. It looks good to me. I don't see any holes or anything. It's faded. Um, that's okay for a band sweatshirt, though. The graphic might be a little bit off-center. Who knows? It's I have to really look through these, but I want to show you guys anyway what I got. This is ooh, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. This is also a faded black, faded gray, size medium. Even though the size small looks bigger than this size medium. But you know how that goes. This is... Okay, so this is just a daydreamer. This isn't a band. This is a daydreamer. It's got like a psychedelic graphic print, but there is no band. It's just the brand. No band, just the brand. Size. Size large. These are so perfect for fall and I'm totally listing all my back to school stuff right now. So that's exciting. I am expecting some duplicates, like they said. So here's another Pink Floyd sweatshirt. Let's 
Here's another one of the Daydreamer ones, which actually this, the graphic is on the back. I just realized that. So the front just has a little sunshine and the back has the actual fun graphic. So maybe these are all different sizes. This one's an extra small. I don't really see anything wrong with them other than the fact that they're really wrinkled and they don't have, like if they're new with, out, if they're new with tags or new without tags, they don't have the, um, like the hang tag, extra small. So here's more one. Oh, I see this one. This one has some, some dirt, which that might actually just come off. That might not be like a defect. It just from being in a retail environment might be a little bit dirty. Well, okay. I mean, that's not really, I, I don't really consider that to be bad. Here's another one of the same. These are all duplicates. I'll spare you guys the one, two. So there's two more of the white ones here and another Pink Floyd and another Led Zeppelin in this box. So this box actually only has three different styles um, in, in duplicates. So that's good for me, I guess, because if they're really not flawed and they are just a size variation, that'll give me a really nice multi-quantity listing opportunity. Okay, so there's 12 sweatshirts in the first box. Let's go ahead and open up the second. I'm not real sure why, but the second box is larger than the first. Um, I'm only expecting one more in here since we're, we're looking for 25 total. Okay, so this one's got some different styles in it. This is the Def Leppard. That's an awesome shirt. Oh my gosh, this is going to be one of those times where I'm tempted to keep some stuff for myself. Size medium. Here's the same sweatshirt again. And then I've got another Pink Floyd. One, two, three, four, five more of the white ones. Two more Pink Floyds. And one, two, three, three more of the Def Leppard style. Um, so it really looks like there's only four different styles. It looks like they also sent me, and I love that Boutique by the Box does this. Sometimes when I order from them, they send me like sample pieces from other boxes that they offer. So this is actually great. These are coral. This brand sells very well. They're athletic leggings. They're very stretchy. Um, so I'll just have to add these in with my average cost of, you know, average out the cost of goods. This is a sports bra. Um, do I see a size? Size small. So thank you, Boutique by the Box. That's certainly helpful to add that in. That will bring down my cost per item a little bit. So let me just make sure there's 13. I'm not going to count these. I'm just counting the sweatshirts. Let's make sure there's 13. Okay, indeed, there are 13 sweatshirts here. 12 in the first box, which gives me my 25 that I was expecting, plus the two bonus pieces that I was not expecting. So that's exciting. So what I'm going to do, um, I am going to list all of this stuff on my basically eBay Poshmark Mercari, first of all, because I have so many duplicates, I may throw a few of these into some whatnot auctions. I have uh, like a premium brand's auction coming up and some of this would probably fit right in there. I don't really want to give it away at too low of a cost of goods because I want to make sure it's profitable. And given that I did pay almost $15 per item for a whatnot auction, that might be a little bit high to start them at, but I will list everything. I'll come back 90 days later. I think this is going to be a good investment. I think at least the band um, sweatshirts I don't know about the regular daydreamer, like the mushroom graphic ones, but at least the band sweatshirts will probably get me at least 50 to $60 per top, right? Per sweatshirt. 
Um, so fingers crossed, I will update you guys in 90 days. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see it. I'm interested to know what you guys think. Do you think that this was worth $15 per item? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, that is it for today, guys. This is a short and sweet little video for today. Drop me a like if you're still here, if you found this helpful. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.